right? Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Sham Yahushai, by Sham Rokar Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. Salutations to the men of the whole flan since I left. Smack is from the that camp. Just want to do the edification for the elect's sake. All right, and the name of this video will be There is nowhere to go. All right, there is nowhere to go. Because, you know, men coming in the truth, and now we are approaching the, the last quarter of this race, they 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 getting disenchanted and wanting to leave the truth. You know, doing the videos why they left GMS or why they left the truth or left being a Hebrew or wherever the case might be. But guess what? Now is not the time to be leaving the truth because it really have nowhere else to go. All right? You've been searching all your life for something that made sense. You know something was missing within your spirit. And you've been searching all your life. And now when you find this thing, this one thing, this gem, this money, this woman that satisfies your soul, you want to just give it up and go back to what? Go back to the world? Go back to Jesus? Go back to Allah? All right, go back to worshiping Jairus, the fire, right? to the to the wherever the, the fuck they, they always be saying. All right, they have nowhere else to go. The scripture said the foundation of the Lord standeth sure. This is the sure foundation. So it have nowhere else to go. So for you men who thinking about leaving the truth or questioning within yourself, if this is the truth, it have this song. If you don't know me by now, guess what? You ain't gonna never, never know this truth. Because this is the truth. Alright? You gotta be fully persuaded at this point because we are the end. This is not the time to be doubting. This is not the time to be considering leaving the faith. Oh, well, you know, I could go, I could go and do the works by myself. Guess what? That is fucking spirits. That is unclean spirits plaguing your mind. The scripture says, warn to him that is alone. Alright? Warn to him that is alone. Don't let no spirit come in your mind trying to get to, to lead this faith to go back into the world. Have nothing out there. Out there is death. Alright? There's a storm happening and this truth is your only safe house. Alright? This is 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 1. It says, Now the spirit speaketh expressively that in the latter times some, some shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrine of devils. Yes, you might have men, you know, Case some point, the flat earthers, all right? They believe that the, the earth flat. Some might be, some other brother believe that the lake of fire is um, a super volcano, all right? You weren't taught that. You weren't taught that. So you leaving from this truth and going back into vanity, guess what? You're going to be destroyed. There is nowhere else to go. There is nothing to turn to besides this truth. The scripture says in Jeremiah, I believe it's Jeremiah 14 verse 10, it says this people love to wonder. You come into the truth, you come into this sure foundation and you want to leave to go to something else. Some of you might get, you know, um, what the word is, offended off of a breakdown and you just want to go do your own. But guess what? You're doing your own. What, what is you doing? For you men who live in camps, you know, and two, three years down the road, brother, see, you still have your beard and all, but you ain't doing the works. Guess what? Having a beard on your face don't mean you're, you're still a, you're, you're in the truth. All right? Having a beard don't mean you're in the truth. The scripture says, if you love me, keep my commandments. You're going to do the works. All right? You only keep on that beard because of shame. You don't want nobody to see you and say, hey, look, look, he going back into the wood. He shaved his beard. All right? You got to keep the word. Alright? It says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressively that in the latter times some shall depart from the feet, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisies, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. So yes, you have a conscience seared with a hot iron. So you forgot the Lord that 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 basically that saved you. Alright? You just left the Lord and gone worshipping worshiping devils. All right, you go on worshiping devils, and the most I can and destroy you for that. All right, we go to Galatians. Because the scripture said, the scripture said, the scripture said, continue thou with the things that thou hast learned and be a, and been assured of, and you know, remember who you learned it from. 
Jesus never taught you that you are Hebrew. Selassie I didn't teach you you are Hebrew. All right? None of these things that you're going to run through ever taught you about Yahaba Hashem Yahushai. Didn't break down the prophecies to you. So where are you going to run to? All right? This is Galatians chapter 3 verse 1. It says, O foolish Galatians, who had bewitched you that ye should not obey the truth? Before whose eyes Yahushai Mashiach had been evidently set forth, crucified among you. So who had bewitched you that you fell from this truth? You like Judas. The scripture says when Judas, when Yahushai gave him the sup, he actually, Satan jumped on him. All right? So what we are to be doing, we are to pray to the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai that no spirits jump on us to get us to, you know, to, to make us consider leaving this truth, leaving the faith or leaving the brotherhood. Now is not the time. Now is not the time to be leaving to want to go on your own or to want to go back to something. No, now is not that time. Majority of you men who actually leave the truth and want to run to something else is men that actually, you know, they're weak. All right? They find the truth is too much burden for them. They, they can't do the three videos so they look for some reason to leave and go back into the world because they don't like to work. All right? But guess what? You might as well just stick in this truth because guess you, you're going to die leaving this truth. And we're at the end. This is not the time to be leaving the truth. Have nothing to turn to. Alright? So you need to be you need to gain your right mind. You need to pray and fast and ask the Lord to strengthen you to remain in this truth. Alright? This is Psalms. It says Psalms 27 verse 4. Alright? It says, One thing I have desired of Yahweh that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai all the days of my life to behold the beauty of Yahweh and to inquire in his temple. So that is one thing you have to desire, to dwell in the house of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai forever and not to ever want into the part. Because that is a wicked spirit wanting you to depart from the faith. Don't let no spirit be with you. You have to, act, you, you have to be able to pick up when these, when these unclean spirits plague in your mind. Alright? The spirits, they're going to play with your mind. They're going to put words in your head making you think that it is your own thoughts. You have to rebuke them spirits. Because they have nothing to turn to after this truth. There ain't nothing to turn to. Alright? Stick in this faith. It's the last precept here. This is John chapter 6, verse 66. It says, From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. So they went back into the world. Then said he, I will share unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? Then Simon answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life, and we believe. And are sure that thou art that anointed, the son of the living power. So guess what? As Peter said, to whom shall we go? When we leave, the, let me say somebody do our video and say leave GMS. You're supposed to ask them, where shall we go? To whom? To you? That not going out and do the works? To you? That all you're doing is just coughing, mocking and talking shit about the apostles? To whom? Who shall we go to? All you men who like to do videos saying leave GMS, leave the truth. To whom shall we go to? Answer this. Because you don't teach, you don't do breakdowns, you don't go out and do the works. All you do is sit behind the computer and talk shit just like a woman, alright, that just broke up with a man, alright, talking shit. So to whom we gonna run to? There ain't nothing to run to. You have a shy have that brother life. And in the time of Jacob's trouble, in the time of destruction, in the time when Yahweh Shai come, then you're going to realize the mistake that you made leaving this faith. So remember that. Ain't no way to run to. Alright? The scripture says the righteous run in, not out. So with that, I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Raka Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy who not rule well. Salutations to the men of the whole and saints say elect. This is Makazar saying Shalom. Stay strong.